chemistry, which is on determination of sugars in samples by using DNS method. In this video, you will be introduced to the use of DNS method to quantify the sugar concentration in the given samples. The demonstration in this video will be covering on how to prepare samples for sugar analysis and determine the absorbance spectrum of an unknown glucose concentration. You will also learn how to use glucose standard graph to determine sugar concentration in selected drink product. The materials needed in this experiment are DNS reagent, Rochelle salt, cuvette, test tubes and test tube rack, hot plate, distilled water, glass beaker, micro pipette, pipette tips, and also our sample which is a Ribena drink. Now all the materials are ready, let's begin with the experiment. Prepare two sets of six clean and dry test tubes. Make sure to label the test tubes to avoid confusion. I pet in duplicate the samples into the label test tubes. I pet the volume as indicated in the next table. After all the test tubes are filled with samples, I pet in distilled water. Then add in 1 ml of DNS reagent into each test tube. After that, shake the test tube to mix the solution well. Before boiling, cover all the test tubes with aluminum foil. Boil the test tubes for 5 to 7 minutes. After boiling, take out the test tubes. Let the test tubes cool down to room temperature. After all the samples has cooled down, add 1 ml of Rochelle salt 
into each test tube. Next, transfer 2 ml of each sample into a clean and clear cuvette. The color development of the mixture is then read at 575 nanometer wavelength by using a spectral photometer. Sample from test tube 6 will be used as the blank to eliminate background readings. After that, press auto zero to change the absorbance value to zero. Then, take out the blank and place the cuvette containing your sample. Then, press start and record the absorbance reading obtained. Continue for the rest of the samples. This is the example of the data on the absorbance obtained from the samples. Since the samples were prepared in duplicate, two readings of absorbance were obtained. Therefore, we need to calculate the average absorbance value for each sample. This is the glucose standard graph that was obtained from previous practical tree. From this graph, we will obtain the value of sugar concentration of our samples.